the next generation air dominance ngad program is destined to create a new stealth fighter for the u.s air force ngad is the branch's high priority aspiration aircraft this aircraft can function as a platform that connects manned and unmanned aerial vehicles so that it can operate as the leader of an unmanned drone force A sixth-generation fighter is a conceptualized class of jet fighter aircraft design more advanced than the fifth-generation jet fighters that are currently in service and development. Several countries have announced the development of a national sixth-generation aircraft program, including the United States, Russia and China, while Japan, Italy, the United Kingdom, France, Germany, Spain and Sweden have joined together in collaborative and multinational programs in an effort to spread development costs. The first sixth generation fighters are expected to enter service in the 2030s. For years, vague public statements regarding the Air Force's program to develop an advanced sixth-generation stealth fighter specializing in air-to-air -air combat called Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD, indicated that at least two rival companies were at advanced stages of development. At least one prototype was alleged to have already flown way back in 2020. NGAD is intended to replace the Air Force's exquisite F-22A Raptor stealth fighters in the 2030s. Though extremely agile and ultra-stealthy, the Air Force's relatively small F-22 fleet has proven prohibitively expensive to operate and upgrade due to their reliance on 1990s-era non-open architecture systems and early maintenance intensive radar absorbent materials technology. However, at a DC meeting, Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall laid to rest the idea that the Air Force might procure more than one NGAD aircraft to rest. We're not going to do two NGADs, we're only going to do one, he stated. According to John Turpak of Air and Space Forces, the lead candidates are undoubtedly drawn from combination of Lockheed Martin, Boeing, and Northrop Grumman, backed up by rival jet engine makers Pratt and & Whitney and General Electric. The Air Force opened up submissions for an NGAD design on May 18th. The winning concept will be announced in 2024, and the Air Force will aim to get 200, or it would prefer, 250 NGAD fighters, each of which it admits would cost multiple hundreds of millions of dollars to procure. For comparison, the current F-35A stealth fighter costs around $85 million, thanks in part to massive economies of scale. NGAD will undoubtedly benefit from better sensors and communication links than the F-22, while having greater agility than the F-35. Research, development, testing and evaluation of NGAD is expected to cost $16 billion over the next five years. However, the Air Force does reportedly want the future warplane to have drastically lower operating costs than its F-22s and, one hopes, its F-35s. Kendall also indicated that the Pentagon sought to avoid centralizing ownership of too much of the NGAD in one manufacturer, a problem causing IP disputes between the Pentagon and F-35 manufacturer Lockheed. The goal for NGAD will be to have the government retain intellectual property for more aircraft systems from the onset, so that it can easily slot in new technologies from other companies or even devise its own quick fixes without facing a barrage of cease and desist letters.
It's worth noting that, mind-bogglingly, there are actually two next-generation air dominance programs with the exact same names, the other being run by the U.S. Navy to eventually replace its F-A-18E-F Super Hornet carrier-based fighters. For a while, it seemed like the Air Force might even multiple variants of NJED using a new evolutionary procurement model advocated by former tech czar Will Roper that would emphasize rapid development and short production cycles, 50 to 100 aircraft, with shorter service lives. He believed this was possible thanks to digital design tools, which would allow for extremely rapid design, tweaking and testing of prototypes. NGAD is hoped to give a new technological offset to U.S. military air-to-air -air combat capabilities, which must also remain effective within the air defense zone of surface-to-air missiles. But furthermore, the NGAD likely have extended range, thanks to internal fuel, to better meet the challenges of operating across the vast distances of the Pacific Ocean. Though specialized in air-to-air -air like the F-22, NGAD will retain some ground attack capabilities, including for suppression of enemy air defenses, CAD, and is hoped to have a greater internal weapon capacity than the F-22. For now, we can only speculate what the competing designs resemble and which will be selected. It's absolutely clear now that there can only be one, much as Lockheed's impressive F-22 Raptor prototype defeated Northrop's admirable YF-23 Black Widow three decades ago, a decision still debated by aviation enthusiasts decades later. <laughs>